public business must be retained and made available for the public inspection. As part of its mission to serve the community, WJCT provides a sub-channel radio reading service for people who have difficulty seeing and handling print material. The service is largely powered by volunteer readers who love what they do. I've been listening to the radio reading service um, since it came onto the air 16 years ago. The nature of my particular uh, issue requiring the, the need for the reading service is that I'm visually impaired and I've got a, uh, uh, an eye condition called retinitis pigmentosa, um, which over time um, causes the loss of sight um, down to a certain level. Um, and 16, 20 years ago, I was, I was able to read the newspaper a little better than I, I can read print now. People living with blindness or a physical disability have called the service a communication lifeline the round-the-clock programming offers readings from national and local newspapers and magazines. Grants and other contributions to the service go to help pay for the special pre-tuned radios that we loan free to the listeners who need and request them. Everyone involved with radio reading knows what a valuable resource it is to the community. Okay, the last dog cartoon of the day. We go on to Marmaduke, and Marmaduke and his mom are out for a walk, and they're going by the Pamper Your Pet Shop. And the way it Marmaduke would impact my life, if the radio station would be, you know, discontinued, it would like be totally, I mean, to do that, it would just keep me out of touch with what's going on Robert in the world. Patty Field. William Hernandez. Mike Hutchins. Rosie. The number of Americans experiencing vision loss or physical disabilities rises every day. The Radio Reading Service depends upon your support to empower and enrich the lives of people who use it in Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia. This service is wonderful. It keeps me in touch with the rest of the world. I get to hear the music, you read books. I mean, it's great.